Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Morris Money is preparing for its next destination, 1,000 subscribers. Make sure you're here for the ride by subscribing to Morris Money. About every quarter or about twice a year, I like to dive into REITs, and today is no different. Today, I'm talking about if you should buy AGNC. AGNC holds a 13.6 dividend yield, and that's not wrong. It's averaged a double-digit yield in all but one of its past 14 years and is a monthly dividend payer. Though mortgage REITs deal with some complex products, their operating model is easy to understand. Companies like AGNC seek to borrow money at low short-term lending rates and use the capital to buy mortgage-backed securities with higher long-term yields. The goal for mortgage REITs is net the highest yield possible from their owned assets and pay as little as possible in interest on what they borrow. This difference between what AGNC will net from its owned assets minus its borrowing rate is known as net interest margin. In 2022, things can possibly have been worse for AGNC investment and its peers. The Federal Reserve's hawkish monetary policy rapidly increased short-term borrowing rates and caused the Treasury bond yield curve to invert. Long story short, it put serious pressure on AGNC's book value and net interest margin. Good news? In 2023, things should get better. For example, the yield curve. Another factor, higher interest rates. They've lifted the yields on the mortgage-backed securities AGNC has been purchasing over time. This should help lift the company's net interest margin and potentially boost profits. But the most important thing to note about AGNC is the composition of its $61.5 billion investment portfolio. All but $1.7 billion is tied up in agency securities, which are backed by the federal government in the event of a default. This added protection is what allows AGNC to deploy leverage in order to increase its potential profits. AGNC is a stock that I've had in my portfolio for a long while now. And if I'm being honest, I haven't bought in a while. But seeing as it's back up in the $11 range, it might be time to start buying. I know, I missed out on the lows. And actually, I think I did buy in around the $9 range. So I am profiting off of that dip that we've seen in the past couple months. But I still like mortgage REITs and AGNC in particular for monthly dividend income. If you want me to make another video breaking down AGNC, a bit of a longer one, let me know down below and I'll be sure to make that video. Another read I like, VC Properties. If you want me to break down that company, I can also do that. Let me know down below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.